Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com, and in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about uploading files and folders to Google Drive. So here I am at drive.google.com and I'm logged into a Google account. One of the ways I can upload files is to just go to the new dropdown in the top left of the screen and I can either choose a new file upload or a new folder upload. So I can upload entire folders if I'd like to. So if I choose a file upload, you'll notice that on my desktop I have a folder that says stuff to upload and I could choose a file from within this folder and I can upload any type of file that I'd like to Google Drive. So you'll notice that I have a docx, so a Microsoft Word file, a JPEG, so a photo, and a PDF. So I could just choose the PDF, click open, and you'll notice that it tells us that the upload is complete in the bottom right of the screen and we now have in my drive one file, the PDF that we just uploaded. If I double click, I can take a look at it. If I right click on it, I have a whole bunch of other options. So I could share it with other people. I could download it. So it's an easy way to transfer a file from one computer to another, just upload it on one computer, download it on another. I could rename it, I could put it in a folder, all that sort of thing. Now notice that uh, we could have uploaded the entire folder, but we also don't need to use the drop down. So if I move this in a little bit, I can access my desktop and I can just click and drag this folder right in here to Google Drive. You'll notice that now my folder stuff to upload has appeared. If I go inside of it, all of the files that were in that folder have come here into Google Drive. There was actually a hidden file. Uh, this is just from the, I believe the Apple, the Mac operating system. So we could actually just remove this file, delete it. And we now have the three files that we had on our desktop. Note that for files that are editable, like a Word file, I could double click to open it here in Google Docs. You'll notice that I can actually um, edit Office formatted files, so it won't actually change this to a Google Doc. So right now this is still a docx file. So anything that I, you know, if I make a change and then we let it save, it says it's saving up here, so now it says it's saved. If I go back and just to show you if I reload this page, this file is still in docx format. It used to automatically convert files. Now we can convert the file. If we go back into the file, we go up here to the top and click on file, we can choose to save it as a Google Docs. And you'll notice that by doing that, uh, it opens up a new tab. Up here we see we don't have the .docx extension like we do in this file. And if we go to Google Drive and we go back to my drive, you notice that we now have two files. Let's just refresh this, it should be in this folder right here. So this is the file that we just created. So if you're going to do that, be aware that you're going to create, you know, a second file. Since you can edit docx files now in Google Drive, if you're going to be, you know, editing this and sending it to somebody else who wants it in docx format, there's no need to convert it at all. Just edit as is, save, and then you can download or share it. Like I said, you can upload any type of file that you'd like to Google Drive. So if you have a folder full of photos that you'd like to back up, you could just drag that folder right in here to Google Drive and all of your photos would come in. Be aware that the larger files you have, the longer it may take to actually upload them. But that's pretty much it for uploading files to Google Drive. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you wanna see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.